What is going on guys? I'm out here in the woods right now. Just walking along, having a great time out here. Actually working on a special project, which I'll get to, I'll show you guys later. But I'm out here walking in the woods. I come across this huge log right here and I see something on the log. Check it out. Mushrooms everywhere. Isn't that so cool? And all the way down this entire log, I see mushrooms growing out of it. Now, a subscriber had a super interesting theory, which I thought made total sense. They said, if you see animals eating uh, the mushrooms, then that must mean they are not poisonous. And check out right there. See how those uh, have been eaten or something's been messing with it right there. Something's definitely been nibbling on it. And then like, see this mushroom right there. See how has that whole lot of it? Like a bug or something has been eaten out of it. And that's for a whole bunch of them. This one, the same thing. Looks like a bug's been eaten out of it. And I think we have good mushrooms here. I'll double check to make sure when I get home. These might be called button mushrooms, maybe. Either button mushrooms or puff balls. They, yeah, I'm thinking they might be puff balls, actually, now that I picked one. These ones right here, I believe they are called maitiek. Maitiek, I think. Or something like that. I'm, I, I'm, like I said, I'm going to have to double check everything uh, when I get home. But look at those beautiful mushrooms right there. I'm just going to pick a whole bunch of these and take these home. And uh, we'll experiment with cooking them. These little puff balls, they, they come right off the log. They are super crazy because they're like squishy. Oh, this is so cool. I love the forest. Wow, something has really, really been um, chewing on these ones. You know, I don't want to get any mushrooms that animals have been eating on, so... Look at that white powder. Like, why is there white? Or no, it's not powder. Yeah, it is. Huh, that's so curious why there's a white substance. I have this just old, the only, I was not planning on mushroom honey today, so I just have this old lid from a rotisserie chicken. That is so curious. Why are they covered in white? Whoa, folks, look at this. Okay, so this is the stump of the fallen tree. Look inside. Look at all the mushrooms in here. Oh, that is so cool. I'm gonna get grab some of these ones. Oh, that is neat. And these are untouched by animals too. That, that broken part is my own finger. These are so soft. That is amazing. So cool. So there is the hall right there, folks. And I was about to head out, and I thought I'm just gonna look. I just was kind of looking as I was getting my uh, backpack and stuff ready. Check it out. I spy under here some crazy looking. What the heck is that? Huh? What? It, I mean, it looks edible. Hmm, looking through all these, I don't see it so far. Well, that would be crazy to find that. Check that out. A bunch of white ones like that. That'd be cool. No, made it to the list. I don't see any. That was a pretty comprehensive list. You know, we'll take this home and I'll do further research. But that's cool. It's like a little, there's a third type of mushroom there. This spot right here looks, ooh, looks perfect. I can sit here, and i got a little table right in front of me to cook. I'm not going to worry this time about eating these mushrooms, guys. I'm just going to focus on the puffballs, because I have to make sure proof positive that these ones are edible. Now, there is something extremely important that I have to watch out for. There is an extremely poisonous look-alike of the puffball mushroom known as the Destroying Angel. It is a fatal mushroom. Just a few bites of it will kill you. And the only way to know the difference between a destroying angel and a puffball mushroom is if we cut this in half and if the cross section inside this mushroom looks like marshmallow. Boom, there it is. It's a puffball mushroom for sure. It's just soft and white inside. If you cut it open and there are gills and different things inside, it is a destroying angel, but since this, it literally feels like marshmallow inside. That is cool. What I'm gonna do is cut open every single one of these mushrooms to make sure they really are puffball mushrooms. And look at that, that one is good. So there we go. 
all of them are cut and washed. What I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm just going to cook up 10 of them because I am a newbie mushroom hunter and I read in an article that you want to try new mushrooms just a few at a time because you don't know if you're gonna have an allergic reaction to them. And I thought that was good advice. I'd hate to die out here in the middle of the forest all by myself. Some butter. Throw them right in there. Add some salt and pepper. And some uh, cavender seasoning. They look and smell really, really good. Alright, that is finished. Turn it whoa, the other way. Turn it off. So they smell very earthy. That is the first thing I noticed about them. Very earthy smell. You know, even though it's a really small meal, I actually am gonna say a prayer. Not because <laughs> not because I'm worried about getting sick or dying, but because that's what I always do. Alright, let's Squirrels are throwing acorns behind me. Let's try one. First impression, puffball mushrooms. Hold on, let me, let me get my words together. This is like eating marshmallows with a crust on them, or, or, and like savory marshmallows. But the texture is like a, kind of like, it, it's really chewy on the outside, but then just like a marshmallow. It is that soft inside. Except, of course, the flavor is like a savory marshmallow. These are really good. I read online, and the reason why they don't sell them in stores is because they don't keep very well. You kind of have to, you do have to eat them fresh, like within 48 hours, or they're done for. So I can't really grow them and then ship them around. But they're really good. Well, guys, there you go. My first time gathering and eating my own mushrooms Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.